Hello. <laughs> yes, I'm the wife. <laughs> Good luck, crystals in the bra, check. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> As I started, yes. <laughs> okay, I used to watch a lot of the news and read a lot of the newspapers, and then I got extremely paranoid and thought my husband was going to kill me. So, needless to say, I stopped watching the news and stopped reading the newspapers. Murders, stabbings, depression, suicide, and not just adults, children too. So, so I thought, what's going on with society? And then it, I got really scared. Ooh, hang on. Okay. So then I asked myself, what's good for me? And what I knew was good for me was sleep, mentally, physically, and emotionally. Because if I didn't have sleep, I was just an emotional mess. I got anxiety and fatigue. So, um, and news and media certainly wasn't good for my mental, uh, for me mentally anyway. Um, so I knew what was good for me. So what else is good for my family? So we looked at the children's bedtimes and tech. So we reduced the tech, so they no longer had tech till five o'clock and was strict with their bedtimes. Uh, Yes, yeah, so and we knew things had to change. Um, what changed with the kids? They become more responsive, less aggressive, and willing to listen. And it also got me curious to the effects lack of sleep had on people. So I knew what lack of sleep had on me was that I got anxious, I was emotional, I got fatigued. Um, Hang on, sorry. Slow reaction time. Okay, with sleep deprivation, it slows your reaction time. It also causes Alzheimer's and dementia, depression, obesity, and immune system failure. So what's the difference between like 15 to 20 years ago to now is that we weren't so bombarded with blue light. Um, and with the media as we are today. So with mobiles, tablets, radio, TV, and computers, uh, we're constantly bombarded with uh, blue light. Uh, so we knew things had to change. So with the kids, there was, like I said, no tech after five. And uh, my husband and I also implemented change. With us, we stopped watching the news and reading newspapers. And we also go to bed between 8.30 and 9.30, so tonight I'm past my bedtime. <laughs> yes. Um, and the kids really weren't happy with their new schedules. Did I care? No, not at all. They played lovely together, they were less aggressive. So, uh, but if we slipped the rules, then we certainly knew about it. So uh, they were back to the old routine of being aggressive with each other and constant bickering. So anyway, I read this book called Sleep Smarter by Sean Stevenson. Have you heard of it? I highly recommend you read it, definitely. And they've got tips of better sleep and better health. Um, so the, th hang on. I don't know which slide I'm on. There's supposed to be three things that help me with the awareness and how I slept and functioned. Where is it? Hang on. So anyway, in this book, um, there was, he recommended a sleep tracker app. So if you look that up and track your sleep, that's a bonus. And also, I use the Jawbone 3 and anti-blue light glasses for when you're on computers and things in the evening, but you're not supposed to be, okay? Um, blue light. Uh, blue light can have a detrimental effect on your health and well-being. 
So in the morning, blue light uh, comes from the sunshine, which is good, and it raises your serot serotonin levels uh, and makes you alert through the day. But um, artificial blue light that comes from computers and TV screens, phones and things, um, that's really bad for you in the night. So um, because that also keeps you alert. Um, so stay off any tablets and TVs. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me skip a few slides. I was really slow. <laughs> Hang on. Sorry. Uh, I'll skip to the good stuff, okay? So <laughs> look at your habits. So when you eat, uh, your daily routine, your exercise, your evening routine, and your sleep routine. Um, change them up, because you start exercising in the morning. Um, start your day with sleep in mind, so don't drink coffee after 2 p.m. Uh, no screen time, one and a half hours before bed. Read instead, or relax, or something. Just don't go on your screens, or wear glasses. Um, and make your bedroom an oasis, and clutter-free, and somewhere that you enjoy being and look forward to going to. And before, sorry, before you go to, to sleep, journal, because journaling is scientifically proven to reduce your stress. So write down your fears, your things that's going around in your head, what's happened in the day, anything. Um, do avoid sleep tablets because they, for every 20 that you have within a year, reduces your lifetime span by a decade, okay? So please, please stay off sleeping tablets. Um, stay off tech till bed. Um, yeah, an hour and a half before bedtime. So read or whatever you like. Um, I'm Hayley Ingram, stay healthy and sleep well. Thank you very much. Thank you.